Hey, this is Michael Lindsay from Vital MX. And you know, back in the days of car rears, it was easy as changing a few jets to adapt or adjust the performance of your bike. With today's modern EFI and ECU systems, yes, there's some amazing performance there, but it's a little bit harder to take it on yourself to do the adjustments. So today we're bringing in Chad Braun from XPR Motorsports, who's built race winning 450 Supercross engines and electronic packages to give us an idea of what's possible with a production stock ECU aftermarket ECUs and what he looks for when he's making adjustments and what he tries to get the end user. ECU tuning is, uh, there's a couple different ways you can look at it. It's performance, but it's also making the bike more rideable. We get this question a lot or concern is that, hey, I have a 450, it's already got too much power. You know, is an ECU gonna give it more power? Well, we can tune it, we can take power away, yes, uh, but we can also give more power and make it more manageable, which is a big thing. It may feel like um, a less horsepower bike because it's more manageable, because it's rideable, right? But there is some scenarios where we have guys that just want less, and we can absolutely do that, you know, especially in certain areas. Like, say, if they want a more tractable, non-aggressive feel, we can actually tame it down so it's not so abrupt. With stock ECUs, you can tune them. You're very limited as to what you can do with a stock ECU simply because manufacturers don't want you to go out of parameters um, and affect the performance of the bike or reliability. So there are aftermarket ECUs out there like Vortex, um, which are great for us. That's how we tune all of our bikes with ECUs like this. There's trim screws on the back of the ECU that the consumer themselves doesn't need a laptop and they can fine tune adjust the, their bikes on their own even if they didn't get one of our tuned maps. But the, the level of adjustment between the two is huge. This is a, where we start with our maps. Uh, this is uh, the Vortex software. And right now we're looking at a fuel map and you see a lot of numbers um, in here and these are all fuel values. Now there's, just with this fuel map alone, there's 640 data points that we can adjust or tune. So when everybody talks about maps, this is what it is. And this is why they talk about maps. If you look at it here, this is what we have. It, it really does look like a map. So every throttle position and RPM point, there's a, um, a point between it. And these are the areas that we are adjusting. So with the, with the software that we have access to and, and how we use it, there is a lot of adjustment with these. Like here's your fuel map again with 640 data points, but it's not just the fuel. We have ignition timing um, that we can adjust for different elevations or uh, rider preference, fuels. Uh, but same as this, there's another 640 data points. And then on top of that for uh, another fuel adjustment is we have injection timing. So we can also change the time in which the injector injects fuel along with how long it injects fuel. So uh, with this system versus a, a standard software system, there is, it's far superior for adjustment and tunability. So now we have um, your typical OEM adjustment map. Uh, with the stock ECU. And you can see here you've got you know pretty much the same things as what you do with an aftermarket software program but on this particular map it's a fuel map this only has 96 data points that can be changed so you're very limited as what you can do compared to some of the other software with the Vortex or other ignitions out there. So we can really fine-tune specifically um, for certain areas, improve areas, uh, either connection, power, uh, it, it really is broad. So with this adjustment, um, yes, you have 2.5% adjustment per click, but you do have to be somewhat careful that you don't lean it out too much, um, you know, because there is enough adjustability where you could uh, pot potentially uh, do some damage to your engine. But, you know, like if you're riding at elevation, you know, doing 
uh, percent change per time, uh, you can really feel the difference. So usually for elevation, for every 3,000 feet, we'll say change it one click or one trim screw. And it typically goes across the board, uh, low, mid, and high. The ECUs aren't like our cars where we have all these sensors connected to it and then it can make adjustments uh, on its own. I think if those sort of systems were on the bike, they would make the bike a lot more expensive for the consumer and that's maybe why they don't. Once again, where we touched on it before, it's a very broad you know, range as to riders that are riding this bike. So uh, I think that's why OEMs don't really get an opportunity to specifically tune it for one specific rider or style. One of the things that we get a lot is, oh, my bike has too much engine braking with four strokes. Well, one of the things that we can do in ECUs is help eliminate that. We can't get it completely gone, but we can really reduce it. And we can also make the engine feel more free, revving up. Um, all in all, just make it a way easier package to ride. And we can change ch uh, chassis characteristics too, just by how the power is being put down. Um, so yeah, it, it really is endless as to what we can do with, with those sort of uh, parameters. Yeah, so I mean, we deal with race teams and high level riders um, all the time, and we do a lot of testing with it. And th there's a lot of comments that we always get back from them is that they can't believe the difference we can make with a laptop and an ECU. And it's one of those things that even on the dyno, we can show dyno numbers and, and charts all day long, but the feel you get and what can be done with a, with a tune is, is just something that's really hard to explain unless you experience it. Um, it. It really can change the characteristic of the bike. And I know that OEM manufacturers spend a lot of time in this area to get certain feels with bikes. So we can just take it to the next level and get you know, the performance and that feel that guys are looking for.